Hey guys, okay, so this is my BH Cosmetics haul. I'm going to let you know what I got and if it's worth buying or not. I got the BH Party Girl. It has a variety of colors. It's one of the limited edition ones. And the colors are just fantastic. They really are nice. They actually have a big variety. And they go on very smooth. And they're very pigmented. I don't know if you can see it. They are nice. There's a bunch of colors in here. There's like greens, there's blues, there's pinks, there's browns. There's some shimmer colors. There's some matte colors. All in all, it's a really nice palette. I mean, you could really create a lot of stuff like this. I think I got it for like $14.99. I think it was on sale. I don't know if the sale is still going on right now. I know they're like $20 or so without the sale. So it's actually worth not getting with the sale. And honestly, you might want to wait and see if it goes down in price. Because I have a feeling that's probably what they do. They go back and forth. This is what it came in. Which is pretty nice. It's cardboard. You know, nothing really special with that. But it's cute. So that is that. Definitely like that palette. I was playing around with it a little bit. I did some pink smoky eye with it. But I didn't really do too much with it. So I'm going to actually play around with it and see what I get out of it. And if I like what I see, I'll definitely do a tutorial on it. What else did I get? I got a Party Girl Shimmer eyeshadow. But honestly, I think I got it. I don't know what color this is. I'm not sure what color it is. It's, it's the loose powder. It's like the white one. It's like the whitest one they have on there. The lightest color. And it is nice. It almost reminds me. I don't know if you can see that too. It's just a nice shimmer. It's actually blendable, very blendable, and I've actually been using it like on my nose and my cheekbones to actually highlight it. What I use it as like the MAC, the MAC Vanilla one in place of it. Just wanted to see. I was playing around with it. I wanted to see if it was good or not. Definitely worth it. Honestly, I think it was like $7.50. That was only like 9% off. So they retail for a little more. Not much more. But I know people have gotten it at a cheaper price than that, so if you want to wait, like I said, they always they go back and forth with their their prices. Not crazy about that though, but sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad because you get it on a deal. What else did I get? I got Studio Pro. I actually got three colors, three shades. I got 230, 235, and 240. I'm going to open them for you. Okay, so this is the 240. I just want to see it. That's the 240. This is the 235. I used this one already, so it might look a little messy. Let's see. That's the 235. And this is the 230. It's nice. And they're very soft, actually. I was I was really surprised how soft they were. They were... This, I think, would be kind of like a dupe for the MAC Studio Fix. This what it kind of reminds me of, with like a fraction of the price. Because I think I got this on sale like 50% off for like 5 something. I think it was like $5.95. Something like that. And now I know they're having a sale going on for $4.95. So. I guess if you wanted to get it now, it's good, but that's really good pricing, and it would be a dupe, I think, for the Studio Fix, so I'm, I'm going to get my Studio Fix, I'm going to put them together, I'm going to try to compare them and see how they wear and everything, and I'll definitely let you know, I'll do a tutorial on that as well, and I'll let you know if it is definitely the dupe or not. So I'm going to put them all together, and you kind of see the color differences, especially if you don't know which colors, I know online it's very difficult to tell. Ok, 
Okay, so on the right is 240. In the middle is 230. And the left is 235. It's a difference in colors. It's not a crazy difference, it's just a little difference. And I figured with summer coming up, I want to get the darker color. I go back and forth, I also fake tan. Sometimes I self tan, whatever you want to really call it. Um, so I figured before, if I, when I get lighter, I have a lighter color. If I need a darker color, I have it, especially when summer hits. When I do go outside a lot more, and I get more natural light, I'm going to need a darker color. And I'm just, I can mix them together. And those were the three colors that I think will suit me the best. I know they have colors ranging from like 205 to 255. Now 255 is obviously the darkest color. 205 is the lightest color. Those were way, way too dark and way too light for me. But I know online when you're looking, it's very difficult to tell which color will suit you best. So those are the three colors I personally bought. And I'm using the 235 right now. The 230 is a little lighter, but I can mix that with the 235 as well. And they are very soft. They are, they really are very soft. I love them. They are. And I think, like I said, they have dupes for the MAC Studio Fix. When I put them together and I start playing around with them, I definitely will let you know if they are or not. Okay, and I just want to let you know with the Studio Pros as well. They do come, like underneath, I don't know if you can see this, I hope you can, but you just lift it up, and it's like a little compartment, and there's a sponge, yay! So, they actually include a sponge for you, which is actually nice, so you don't have to always get a new sponge and be, or carry it around, Say, especially if you bring this around with you, and you don't have no way to put that sponge, like, oh, I can't bring a brush, obviously, I have no room, you know, get dirty and messy, where do I put my sponge? And then usually you have to, like, squash it in the front, the front compartment, which is ridiculous. But this way, they have it underneath, so it's actually a lot better. And then they close like that. And... Okay, so they have these lip liners, and they have a lot of them. And they had all different colors. Colors that are hard to match, like especially if you have the MAC lipsticks. I know I buy a lot of the MAC lipsticks and it's really difficult to kind of match those colors, especially without buying the MAC lip liners. But the lip liners are a little pricey, anywhere from like $16 to $20. And for a lip liner, personally, I don't like buying those. So these are the colors I personally got. I don't know if you can see them. They are really beautiful colors. And this color in particular, see this one, reminds me of Candy Yum Yum. It could actually be a dupe. You could probably use this as a dupe liner of MAC for the Candy Yum Yum and pair it with that as well. And these retailed for $2.95. I did get them at a discounted price as well because they were having like this huge sale that day. So this was definitely worth $2.95. I even think if you get like NYC or any of those brands, they're actually a little bit more money. Okay, so I got Nude Candy, which like I said, Candy Yum Yum, Playful, Fuchsia, Peachy, Raspberry, and Earth. I'm just going to swatch them for you. They are very smooth. They are worth every penny, especially for $3. I mean, I basically got all of them. I know they had like six other colors I really wanted. I wanted all of them, but they were actually on back order until I think 6-30-2015, which I think that's crazy. That's how popular these things are, and especially at that price, people probably just get every single color. So I just want to do this swatch for you. Bear with me. I know I'm taking forever to do these swatches.
they are so smooth. They remind me of a lot of the MAC, like cream lip liners. And these are supposed to be like waterproof and all day wear. Okay, so my camera actually turned off. So we were in the middle of showing you all the lip liners. So I just did them on my hand. Might just be easier that way. You don't have to sit through that. And they wear all day, as you see. They don't come off. They don't. I don't know if you can see it. Don't mind my hand, because I was doing one with like foundation earlier. I was so my hands a little messy. But yeah, they wear all day. They're really nice. They were definitely worth three dollars, I would say, and I would definitely be back after I used some of them up. So also, let me see what else they sent me. I got an eye palette for free. Because they were doing this promotion that you get two things for free if you spend so and so money. So I got two things for free. And I don't know, it's called Eyes from the 80s. I don't know if you can see it. And they're really nice if you look at it inside here. I actually didn't take off the plastic yet. So, but yeah, over here, they're all nice. It looks very similar to the Party Girl. I already see a couple of colors the same. But I do see a green up here. I don't know if you can see it. It is actually a bright green. That would be great for like Halloween or something. If you go to a nightclub and you want to do your eyes all crazy. And I got a brush. This is cute. I've used this before, so it's a little dirty. It's really soft. It's actually really soft. It's softer than some of my more expensive brushes, which is kind of sad. But yeah, I used this and it was really nice. I personally love everything in my haul. <laughs> I love all their products. I will definitely be back. I am a happy customer and I will definitely be back. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed.